What's up, what's up everybody? Today, we're gonna talk twins, specifically uh, Shayna Martina and this gross Shayna Martina combo. Now, here's the thing. Martina by herself, she's not bad. She's okay, well, she's not bad. She's, of course, very good. Uh, she steals beneficial effects with her passive. Who has a passive that steals beneficial effects? Actually, we just did a video. The Fire Viking has a passive that steals beneficial effects. But aside from that, it's not... I mean, he he does, he steals beneficial effects and defense breaks too. He's kind of like the super free-to-play uh, Martina. So, Martina is not really the biggest culprit in my opinion. She would not be as crazy OP without Shayna. Speed lead, AoE stun, attack age pushback, defense break. This, in my opinion... With with the strip is the crazy OP part. I mean, that's that's the part that's like, yeah, like arena offense, easy. Uh, it just makes everything in the game. I have her on my Asia account. It just makes everything in the game like super duper duper easy. It's just such an OP combo. So you could be saying like, okay, well, just ban one of them, and there's your problem solved. Just ban the Shayna. Unfortunately, the Shayna Martina combo is. Oftentimes, comboed with Gianna, Nephthys, Tiana, Gani, Hathor, just like other OP stuff that you're like, crap, what do I ban? Because you gotta kind of ban all of them because they're all OP. So today we're gonna take a look at some people that were able to successfully conquer the Shayna Martina combos. Not conquer as in like use them and win with them, because obviously that's the easy part. Um, but we're gonna see, uh, we're gonna take a look at some gameplay from some players that are super OP, enough to beat these Shayna Martina combos, they know the counters, uh, yada yada yada. Let's take a look at some gameplay. G2 versus G3, uh, Venom. I don't know what the names stand for though. Uh, so, uh, Tiana and Perna you see next, and then the Water Monkey pick, like some of these, and then the Nephthys, okay. So Shayna was banned, uh, Samoth was banned. Samoth is actually a great, com uh, great counter to the Twins. But we see the Shayna getting banned, because Shayna was Bans out half the DPS and also bans out the uh, the stun. The there's also there's the defense break with Nephthys already, but uh, sh at least Shayna you ban out the stun and then you ban out the uh, attack age pushback. So there could, there would have been a little bit more cycling going on as well. So, but half the half the damage, half the damage. So it took a couple extra hits, more hits than they wanted to, to kill that. Uh, Triana, otherwise they could have started going for the Hathor, potentially done more and avoided the sleep. Samoth though, uh, Samoth is a great twins counter uh, because uh, he comes back from the dead. The twins can just do damage to him and then he comes back from the dead and kills. Some people have been ruining their twins uh, tanky enough to survive a Samoth hit though. That's because people like realized that that was a, that was a kind of thing. Um, when did they realize that? I don't know. Uh, months ago, though. At least, at the very least, months ago. Uh, so they're building really DPS-heavy uh, Samoths with a little bit less speed, but more DPS to uh, to kill those twins, to come back and just nuke the twins down. So that's why you see the Samoths. But it's a different... It's, it's less speedy than in like for example arena and it's more for just like big juicy damage so we see i mean camila and a little bit of luck though a little bit of luck on their side because they didn't get the they didn't get the triana down as fast as they could have which is one of the things not too i mean g2 versus g3 but like 200 points actually 200 points is still a decent amount of difference though and camila just solo and camila solo but the Shane, uh, so the Shane was a good band there. As crazy as it sounds to like leave the Nephthys in, which is very dangerous. Uh, it was also a little bit of, uh, a little bit of RNG. RNG could have gone the other way and they could have got the, the, the earlier defense breaks onto the Triana and uh, Perna could have violent proc and got a, got a kill on her and then started going for the Hathor next. Potentially uh, CCing or silencing or something on that, uh, something like that. But uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. We have two Chinese players, uh, Ganymede and Tiana. And then we see they banned, uh, they picked out the Hathor. Who knows, they might have wanted the Hathor. And we see another Samoth. So they have Speed Lead Okinos. They had to go with the Vanessa Speed Lead at the very end. They probably didn't want to, uh, but they had to go for the Vanessa Speed Lead. They also potentially got some of the units banned out that they may have wanted to use. 
but they have to go for the Vanessa speed lead at the very end to make sure that they got turn one. Otherwise, that Ciara Bastet could have wrecked face. And then they get a turn, finally, and yeah, that was game. They couldn't kill. They couldn't kill before the basket, before the basket, before the Bastet got a turn. And they would have had the Okinos, because he reset the Hathor, right? He reset the Hathor. So they would have had the Okino CC. They would have had the, the, the Ciara DPS. So, yeah. They didn't kill quite fast enough. So again, we see another one. Uh, Samoth being picked. Samoth being banned because he's such a threat. Uh, and we see a Shayna ban. So we're seeing two times, or was it two times or three times? I don't even know at this point. Uh, we, but we've seen a few times uh, the Shayna being banned and that leads to the Shayna is the one. The Shayna is the Shayna is the culprit. She's the scary one. Here we go. G3. It's about uh, 230 points difference, something like that. Uh, G3 versus G2. Both Chinese. Both Chinese. Like there's a common theme here. Both Chinese players bans out the Josephine, leaves the Gani Hathor Tian Lang. Does the Tian Lang cut in and start wrecking face? Oh, Antares did a little shenanigans. Antares did it again. Okay, okay, okay. But hold on. They banned out the... Uh, who they banned out? They banned out the Martina. <sighs> Got lucky. Got lucky again. Got lucky a third time. Got lucky. Okay. I. Oh, this is how to do it, guys. This is how to do it. If you, if you decide to leave the Shayna in, make sure you're, you get lucky. <laughs> make sure the RNG is in your favor. Yeah, that's, that's how you do it. That, I thought that was, that was an easy win. Like, until Antares procced three times. And that's all you have to do, guys. That's all you have to do. You just have to get lucky. How, this is how to beat G3 players. Just Antares and luck. Okay, G2 versus G... China server versus China server. I w okay. Anyway, um, so we're seeing so we're seeing a tyrant here. Actually, not the first time I've seen tyrant here. Left both the twins in and the tyrant, and he picked uh, the fire druid. He picked the fire druid, the fire paladin to counter and Okinos. Bans out the harmonia though. Well, bans out the basically the healer, and then we have freeze. Resisted though. Resisted all element? Okay, listen. Cause uh Com to us is not really good with these elements, are they? Water unit takes it into three fire units. Resisted. Hold hold on guys, I'm trying to do the logic in my head behind that. I'm trying to find the uh the logic. I mean this is not even my battle. I'm already tilted at <laughs> just luck. You all you have to do is get lucky. Isn't this half of RTA is just get lucky and you win? What is the get lucky or use broken OP monsters? And that's how you win. How are you gonna resist? You fi fire units resist a water CC. Okay, here we go. We see the Gani Tiana uh, twins and we see Okinos and, is this, and Antares Tiana. Uh, or Tri Triana and Vertiheal. And the. So bans out the Shayna. Bans out the Shayna. And do we see some Antares Prox? Oh, <laughs> and three stuns! Three stuns! Antares Prox and triple stun. So, so what you're saying is luck. So you're saying get good RNG. He's got the Tyrant again. Uh, Violent Proc. And we got the CC. Okay. So so just so just get lucky. Why didn't I think of that? Just get lucky, and that's how to beat them. So we're seeing we're seeing a trend though. We're seeing two trends. One, ban Shayna. Two, get lucky. Okay, here we have Tiana Tiana Perna first uh first picks. Uh Molong, first pick. You don't usually see Molong picked too much. So very, very, very tanky. And two units that interrupt turns. We have the um, the Diana and the Josephine that will interrupt turns. And they ban out the Triana. So they're opting for the... Now, they didn't do too much damage. They're opting for the resist. They knew Tiana was going to be guaranteed CC. Um, guar guaranteed strip. 
So we want them to take their chances with the potential to resist. Um, but now those twins didn't do that much damage. Twins did not do that much damage because, again, like I said before, uh, the Samoth. People have been ruining them a little bit tankier to, uh, to stop Samoths. To stop Samoths from being uh, easy counters. Rather. So, mostly tanky things that are stealing turns. Tanky things that uh, turn interrupt. Ragdoll would also be... I don't think Artemil does as much versus the Twins, but I think Ragdoll would be a much better uh, anti-Twins. Well, I mean, Ragdoll's anti-everything, though. But Ragdoll, Diana, Josephine. Because Josephine... Because it's going to get CC'd, right? Oof. Sneaky! Sneaky Viva Gel! Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky Viva Gel. Here we go. We have a Thompson match. So 25 of 1, 18, 97. Only 600 points difference. Good matchup. Um, so we see. So, okay. So he's got the twins. He's got the, uh, the Tiana, the Hathor, the CR. So he's going to get outsped. Well, the Leo. He's not going to get outsped. And no will on Tiana. But Tiana still uh, gets the next turn. So, what's going to happen here? He's going to go for the DPS on Leo. Now, Leo, Vanessa, I found out almost, I, I almost found out the hard way. Leo, Vanessa is a OP combo. Uh, because if they kill Leo, then Vanessa is just going to bring Leo back with very little HP and attack power buff. So, I almost found that out the hard way. Yeah. <laughs> Time for Leo to, uh, never mind. But, so it, potentially scary. Okay, and now between the um, the very high speed on the units, this Vanessa is going to the Vanessa leader is going to help them cycle. So they cycled enough to cycle out of the Hathor sleep. Um, had to kill the uh, Leo twice with the Ciara. So Ciara's what is Ciara's cooldown on her bomb right now? I don't know, but uh, Diana's gonna wreck face. So it's you know what this mostly. This is mostly uh, about rune quality. Mostly, ba they did ban the Shayna though. He did ban the Shayna, didn't he? Um, so banning Shayna again, and it's a lot about rune quality because Thompson has so much speed on so many of his violent sets that with that uh, Vanessa speed lead, he's able to cycle out of Hathor's sleep much faster without Hathor getting uh, the opportunity to use it again. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have G3 versus G2. Um, we have Shayna Martina, Tiana, and we have Nephthys. Nephthys, you see in G3, you see with these Shayna Martina, everyone seems to have this Nephthys. Uh, bans out the Josephine, though. Leaves the Samoth in, which is dangerous. Let's see how. And also, they have uh, Death Prevention, multiple different revive things. So let's see. And the Antares double stun. <laughs> And more stuns! So, a little bit of RNG there. A little bit of RNG, we're seeing some more Antares RNG. If you're gonna leave the Tiana in, then pick Antares. I mean, it's it's kind of a, it's kind of a, a good thing. If you're gonna leave the Tiana in cleave comps, then Antares is, especially after the buff, Antares is big. Antares and Samoth. And just different revive things, different like uh, different revive revive loops. Okay, so here we have a tomato match. Uh, Tiana Perna, first two picks. Nephthys, you see Nephthys in like half of these. Okay, so let's see what uh, let's see how tomato counters it by being ridiculously fast, by being faster than them with everything. Yep, by being faster than them with everything. Strip, uh, ventilate, return dice. Gets another turn. Um, Overpowers. Is that on? Oh, he's, he was just trying to decrease the attack age. I was like, is that on despair? But no, he's just trying to de decrease the attack age. Oh my god. Tomato so fast. So fast. Because a lot of people have these uh, on, on these twins. A lot of people have them on, uh, on Swift for one of them. So everything is stripped at this point. Well, actually, no. Perna, Perna actually got turns, so that's why Perna doesn't have anything on it. Chakram Crush, but they have the defense buff anyway. Touch Seduction. Let's see. Does she have... Oh. Gets a proc. Gets a stun. Okay. A little bit of luck. Amazing rune quality. 
is a great way to counter it. Outspeed, little luck, amazing rune quality. Tomato's got amazing rune, I mean, obviously, but like, one of the reasons his account is so good is because his rune quality is like, he's not even necessarily his monsters, it's the rune quality is phenomenal. G3 versus G2. Uh, of course, we have Tayana, uh, Ty Shane, and Sabrina. Uh, we have Nephthys, and we have that fire horse cannot be speed tuned. He's he he was planning on leaving Diana in, um, but he cannot be speed tuned to the rest of the stuff. Look at look at the way big speed difference there. Way big speed difference. But you see, okay, you see on the Japanese player, they basically and Antari is not doing so. They got the Martina down before Antari is even cut in. And now he cut and didn't stun, but they were able to at least take out the only stripper and bring in the Wusa. So if they didn't have the Wusa, and they they banned out the uh, they banned out the Camila. So Camila's definitely uh, obviously a threat then. Camila's a threat. Uh, Diana's a threat. Amduat's a threat. Antares is a threat. Josephine's a threat. We see we because we saw Josephine. We saw a few Josephine bands. We saw a few. Camila bands, Fusa Moth bands. Um, so those are possibly the biggest threats for these twins teams. And Antares, Antares giveth and taketh away. Sometimes Antares is great, sometimes Antares is, oh, Antares, you didn't do as much as we wanted you to do. Depends who's using it, right? But tanky bruisers, for the most part, tanky bruisers that cut in and do something. So Samoth cuts in and comes back from the dead and nukes things. Uh, Antares comes in and, uh, I mean, on the if Antares was on the other side, because we saw him on the other side as well, will cut in and CC. So if you leave the Tiana in, you can uh, use Antares. And then Amduat also, Amduat also cuts in, Diana also cuts in, Josephine also cuts in, things that cut in uh, and do things. So anyway, guys, uh, that should give you a basic so some some basic examples of things that were able to counter the Shayna Martina Tiana blah 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 nonsense team. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, that's it for this one. I will see you as always in the next one.